Hello everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2, the Divergences of Darkness mod. Now before we start this let's play, I'm going to give a shout out to Yapano Gamer. He is doing a East versus West let's play. I know how a lot of you guys wanted me to do one. It's just not going to happen unless that game is super stable. But he is doing a let's play. I'll leave a link in the description for him uh, for you guys to click on. So you can go to his channel and check out his let's play. So, shout out to him. Uh, seems like a pretty cool dude from, you know, the minor interaction we've had. So, go check him out. I'm pretty sure, sure you will enjoy his uh, East vs. West Let's Play. He's playing as Japan, I believe. So, I bet that'll be fun. So, without further ado, let's get on with our Victoria 2 uh, Let's Play. So, I don't remember what the hell we were doing. We're losing money. And it seems that we're... we're <laughs> With the Moogles and the Chagatai Khanate. Now, thinking back, declaring war on the Moogles probably wasn't a good idea. What I should have done for my stake in India, instead of just declaring war on the Moogles and fighting them for uh, this little region, I should have declared war on, like, Harat and Sidh or Sindh and Baroda to kind of gain my foothold in India over here instead and just moved across. But, um, yeah. That's just, that that thought has uh, just occurred in my mind, actually, that that would have probably been the better action. But I don't know, what's their force limit? 49. And their reserves are mobilized. Yeah, I'd be afraid. What's... These guys are 40. <coughs> I wonder how powerful their army actually is. Uh, yeah, whatever. That's fine. I don't care. I'm making a lot of money. So let's see. Let me think. Let me think. What am I going to do? Uh-oh. Palestinian nationalists... Are these guys a civilized nation? They are a partially civilized nation. Syria. It's a presidential dictatorship. Wow, go figure. So. So let me think. How am I going to do this? I mean, I'm obviously building a navy. Building up a transport navy. I've got four of them. I need eight. So I need another four. And then I can ship my men off and land in... Uh, Kodak. What region am I taking here? I think just this region here, these three provinces. I think that's it, though. I'll probably, uh, once I have a foothold in India, I'll probably just declare war on every tiny Indian country and just take them over, because that's easy to do. All right, so we need to do voting stuff because people want voting stuff. So we'll do two per state um, for representation, and then we'll do uh, the voting rights movement. Yeah, we'll do once militancy gets to a point where I can do that again, where I can do another uh, thing, reform. I'll do the voting rights, you know, universal, whatever, so that everyone can vote. For a thing. Oh no! A, a military coup in the Turkey. They've overthrown the republic and become a presidential dictatorship. The generals have taken over. Turkish reactionaries are everywhere. Oh no! The Palestinians have grown powerful. It doesn't matter because they'll become a country and then I'll march in and take it all anyway. I should try and puppet Egypt. Am I at a truce with them? Yes. How long? 1849. So I got another four years before I can just straight up puppet Egypt and then declare war on the Funj Sultanate and just carve out a nice little piece of Africa. Hmm. Huh. These guys are. Who are these guys at war with? The Nam. The knob. So, let's just keep building our fleet. Looks like we can do another 
reform will do, of course, will do uh, voting rights for pretty much everyone. So I found an interesting fact. Um, Survivor, if you guys know Survivor Man, the, the Les Stroud, you know, goes out in the woods and survives for like a week. He did an episode in India and he was on the, uh, was on a podcast talking about it. And he was telling them how he spent a night in a tree. He did a uh, Survivor Man in India. Where? I don't know. But uh, he did one and he spent the night in a tree uh, because there was a tiger, a man-eating tiger that was on the, uh, the ground. And uh, they were they were talking about you know how many people die from tigers o over you know the the years and such. So I went and looked. It was pretty ridiculous. It was like three hundred thousand people from eighteen seventy to like nineteen something, or maybe now. And it's just three hundred thousand people have been killed by tigers. Like that's insane. That that's that's a ridiculous amount people that have been killed by tigers. It was like in British India alone, when when Britain ruled India, from like 1870 to 1945, I guess it was, there were 30,000 people killed by tigers. <laughs> like, that's insane. That's crazy. I believe the 300,000 comes from like... 16 like well, since there have been rick written records or like official records were kept so like i'd say from like the 1500s to now something like that 300,000 people by tiger like that's crazy that's insane that that many people have been eaten killed and eaten by tigers like they have they have a, they have they have way too many tigers <laughs> but yeah i just thought it was interesting even Survivor Man was like, yeah, I spent the night up in a tree. <laughs> Fucking tigers. <laughs> Can these guys give me military access? Oh! They'll give me military access. Fuck yeah. Can I just march across and, like, kill the shit out of these guys? Can I get military access or access to these guys? They will accept. Oh, you're fucked now, Moogles. You're fucked. Um, actually, let's go to Madurai. And from Madurai, we'll attack Travanakor. Kill that army. And then we'll just march. We'll straight up just march up through Vaginagar. And uh, we'll fuck them up. The Lutite, Lutite mob hint at policy changes. Alright, let's see. They'll be getting... Oh, never mind. Actually, that would be stupid attacking them. So let's just... We'll let them, like, occupy that. We'll march up to Kudak. You know what I could do? How big? Let's build a naval base in Sharm el Shak. 39,000 soldiers, the 18th army that's based in Egypt. Could I? I Actually, I probably could. How many? I have six. How many men? What? I didn't have to fight that war. Cool. What in the holy balls? Okay. Why do I have a 7,000? Oh, I know. <laughs> well, that was easy. That was fun. Uh, I just got a piece of India because why not? Well, let's march back there. This little irregular army can go there. Actually, we're going to disband these guys. And then we'll recruit new regulars. Like infantry soldiers, normal ones. They basically gave up as soon as, like... My ar my army marched across. They're like, whoa, whoa, we can't, we can't. Never mind, we can't do this. Can't fight this war. Too hot for us. They also have an army stuck in my lands now, which is whatever. All oh, bloody revolutionaries. Okay, well, we'll obviously build a naval base in Kudak. Kunajar. 
think I'm going to declare one Harat the road kind of uh, get this little piece of India because I believe it's all the subcontinent right like what yeah, these guys have claim on most of the subcontinent so doesn't matter but now I have my little piece of the subcontinent it's beautiful it's beautiful now I border Bengal directly if they attack me I'll kill all of them so you know Uh, yeah, it's reforms, reforms, but I think we're doing railroads right now. I think I'm going to put an army together that will be transferred across the Mediterranean to um, Egypt. And from Egypt, they will be transferred to, we got three, let's do two engineers, an artillery, and a cap. Uh, they'll be transferred across to India. At least that's the plan. I'm going to have sail them across the channel, march them down to the bottom of France. From France, sail them all the way across to the Sinai. And from the Sinai, Sinai um, send a fleet down here to pick them up. So what do I need to build the Suez? Steam turbine. I lose $25,000. Steam turbine. Right here. 1860. So not until 1860. So I'll have to develop a uh, fast transport system here. So that's nine. I'm actually going to transfer all those over. Take the first fleet, they'll instead be docked at Jaffana. International crisis in Serbia. Man, I don't think I'll do anything about it. No. Oh, no. Don't care. Bohemians back the Serbs. Yeah, I was about to say. No one cares. Whoops. Stay there. There we go. Angelo French Orissa. And these are all back in England. So this will be the uh, Army of the Indies, or the Army of India, more rather. Sure. Whistle stop tour. Yay. Lose militancy. That's right. You like the king, or queen, or whoever's leader of the country at this point in time. Neptune has been discovered as the eighth planet. Man. See, so guys, the march of civilization. Crazy, isn't it? I was about to say, I thought I was building a shitload of dudes. Or more rather, training a shitload of dudes. Let's get some steam transports. I mean, theoretically, I could. Theoretically. I could steam transport them all the way around to the Suez, theoretically. What the hell? Do I like, stop caring? Mm, yeah, what if these guys? Modern day Somalia. Is there anything to take here besides desert? Dry grassland. Desert. Desert. Spain. <laughs> huh. 
Huh. Yay, rail railroads are done. Uh, we'll do practical steam engines. Start getting industrialized like, very quickly. Real industrialization. What the hell's going on? Let's lower tariffs to 30%. We'll lower taxes to 40% on the poor. It's 35% on the middle class. And 34% on the rich. The rich are doing well. They're getting life needs and everyday needs. So we're all right. We're gonna have, of course, we're gonna have uh, unemployed men, unemployed men, unemployed people in the nation. Channel Islands. It's like, how bad is it? No one cares, even my colonies. No one's angry about anything, really. Sure, whatever. Hmm. I guess we just can't build steamer convoys. We just don't have enough or something. Like, But we can build... Clipper convoys or clipper transports. So we'll build a bunch of those. The Republican Guard in Scandinavia. I was about to say, aren't they an absolute monarchy? They're like a Viking monarchy. So let's take... Actually, what do I want to do here? Oh boy, elections! Supreme Chancellor. Can I colonize on this? No. What about this? No. What do I need? Nationalism and imperialism. Oh, we just need either a white man's burden or malaria treatment thing. All right, what do we got here? Universal, secret ballots. Most people want, it's possible for immigrants not born in a country to become full citizens, provided they have the residence for a period of time. Voting system, proportional. I have no draft. So it's a completely volunteer army. Although I could mobilize still, can I? Hmm, not enough. Hmm. Personally, I like state capitalism. More, well, not in real life, but in this game. Just because it's... The game doesn't work sometimes. So you have to go and build factories. Like, this usually doesn't happen where the game builds it for you. Especially if you're, like, a up-and-coming civilized nation. Hmm. I'll let it sort itself out. Um... State controlled trade unions. Uh, whatever. Ooh, the Japanese have uh, come up in the world. Oh yeah, that's right. They they called them home and they conquered Alaska. 
or they colonized Alaska. So the reformists are in power. Let's increase relations with them. Falsify our rape investigation to calm the masses. Whatever. I like how that's a choice. Like, like that's well enough used to the point where they're like, yeah, that's a good idea. Fuck it, whatever. Alright, so... I thought there was an event I could do. Did I already do it? No, I did not. Have invented state or government. Italy, any core is not Italian or... Italy does not exist. Yes. Dual monarchy. Okay. So I need state and government. Can I do that one? Not yet. Do, do, do. So, um, is it tomorrow? Actually, I do think, um, today is Saturday, I think. I think today's Saturday. Well, when I'm recording this, it's Saturday. So, tomorrow is Dungeons and Dragons night, and, uh... I'm slowly leaning more and more towards I'm going to record it. Um, but I'd like to know what you guys uh, would think. I'll probably make a a video. Sure. I'll probably make a video. Um, either late today or tomorrow-ish. And see if you guys want me to do a... Or want me to record it. I honestly would like to know your guys' thoughts on it. Because it's fun for us. Because we're there. We're, we're playing it. You know, we're role-playing it. We're having fun. But I don't know if it would be fun for you guys. That's the only real concern. Whoa. Jacobin rebels. They're now a parliamentary monarchy. Alright, so... Let's subsidize the mine. We're not going to nationalize it. It's kind of stupid. Uh, da, 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 da. But yes, in case you guys didn't know, uh, we played D&D last Sunday. If you guys hadn't heard in my ramblings in one of my other videos, I, don't I can't remember which one. But uh, we did play, and we all died. I think I posted it to my Facebook. Um, but yeah, we all died, um, but we had a lot of fun, so, and I'm actually fairly glad with the way it went. I've made a new character, and he's kind of like a, uh, like a, a Mongolian, like, tribal nomad that spent his years wandering, like, the steppe, but he's just crazy, like, he, he just, he kills people first, he asks questions later. He's totally, um, like, he, he enjoys, like, uh, looting, like, that kind of shit, so. So, I'm excited to use him, um, tomorrow. Alright, I guess, fuck it, everyone's voting. 1847, women can vote too. doing it all guys we're doing it all we're 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 way ahead of the curve man way ahead of the curve let's bring in some more irish we're fighting irish there we go so i need 10 11 12 13 i need 13 transport ships i already have nine so let's do 10, 11, 12, 13. There we go. Because they'll be moved to India. To India. Okay. Is this one region? It is. Can I just declare war for this? Establish protectorate. Yep. Are they going to stop me? Oh, we're going to go to war with you, and then I'm going to smash you to bitty, itty-bitty bits. 
So that's it. This is the army. So we'll go. We'll take the army to Flan, Flimville, Flamville. I guess is how you might say that. And uh, cool. Actually, what's my population looking like? Let's see. Uh, what's what? So the Angolese are actually the most populous people in the nation right now. Um, what's my real population? My total population is actually around sixty thousand mil or. Six mil or sixty million. Ugh. So we have Angolese are number one. We have the English, which are second. They're actually the second largest group. Then we have the Provincial, which are the Southern French. Then we have the French. Oh, good. The end of the liberal revolution. We pl we pray for the fallen. Um, and then we have the Irish. The Irish are actually the fifth largest group of people. And then we have the Bretons. And then the Welsh, and then we have people from India, who are actually the smallest, the minority group. So, uh, no more... Um, actually, our militancy should be going down. Yeah, see. Look at it going down. We have, actually, it says, it will change by 0 0.01. We have no draft, so it's actually negative 0 0.05. So... That'll be gone pretty fast, which is good. The garrison to Ireland. Eh? I think we're Catholic, too. Is our most of our population Catholic? Oh, we are. Most of us are Catholic. Okay. So we're a Catholic England, France, dual monarchy. What about some of these other countries? Are they, like, Protestant? I guess I can't really tell unless I, go, like, go to the ledger. And then do something like, uh, blah, 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 this, this doesn't give me enlightenment. Um, what national values we have? Enlightenment, equality, independence, liberty, might, null national value for Botswana. We have order, a lot of order countries. I think mine's equality. We have progress, tradition. There's a lot of tradition. I think, what's mine? Isn't mine, like, liberty or equality or some shit? Mine's equality. Actually, the one that's better from equality is actually fraternity. Um, I don't think I can... Unity. There it is. Fraternity. All men are created equal. I have to have revolution and counter-revolution. Yeah. Fraternity. That's the best one, in my opinion. Fraternity is superior. Because uh, it gives a lot of... Uh, non-colonial militancy brings it down which is always good oops and shit I forgot to set up a timer let me real quick see where I'm at here okay we're good we're good oh shit I might have crashed my game <laughs> 